Hey guys, welcome to Adventure Gaming HQ, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a redstone water fountain in MCPE for iOS and Android. Now this redstone fountain can be easily turned on and off and is easily reset. Now previously before this video, I would have said this is only available for iOS, but it has come to my attention that there's an application for Android that is just like the one for iOS. The one for iOS is called PlugPE. It is easily found on the App Store and is only a couple of dollars. PlugPE has lots and lots of secret modded items that you can get just by getting the application. Extremely recommended. The application for Android is called Pocket Inventory Editor. Now for Android, this application is completely free. Absolutely free! That sucks for the iOS people because they have to pay for it. But anyway, I haven't made a video on this application whatsoever, so I will make a video on that on Monday on my first Mod Monday video. Okay, without any further ado, l -l 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 let's get started by killing this cow. Alright, let's get started. So first of all, we have this one, there's some vines going off of it, like diorite or andesite, whatever you call this. You flick it on, and look at that nice little stream coming out. Next, we want to look at this one, a little bit more complex, almost the same thing, only that we have uh, four of these. Four of these pouring out places, and also, I like this look a lot better. So we're going to turn this on, and look at that. Alright, so next one we have a lava and water one. Looks, I like, I like the uh, half slabs. It makes it look a little bit more tech, uh, t t tacky or something. We turn this on, and look at that. Really nice. Here we have a system where we can turn it off after we turn it on. So, here we are with the uh, the, the the first thing. I don't really need to explain it yet. I'm gonna explain it in a little bit so I, I don't confuse you. So I'm just gonna turn it on, just like this. And look, it turns on, it fills it all up, that's really nice. And then we can easily turn it off, just like that. Now, how do we get this super secret item? Now, for iOS, you would have Plug PE running, as you can see, it joined the game. We want to do dot .g, and we want to do calm water, calm water, like this. You'll expl I'll explain why you need calm water in a little bit. So, here we are with our calm water, and all we want to do is quit the title like this. And then we want to go back in inside of creative and it will still be inside of our inventory so we can place it wherever we want. For Android, you want to search still water and add it into your inventory. Again, I'll make a tutorial on how to use it on Monday. Okay, now you have your still or calm water. Now, why, why do you want this? Well, when you place down still or calm water, as you can see, it stays in the same place. Now, this is key, okay? This is key. Now, if we get some redstone out of here... Uh, some redstone like this, we want a lever like this. If we take some redstone like this and place some of the calm water, and we place our lever and we turn it on, it activates it just like that. So that means we can activate calm water with a redstone signal. Sweet! Now this first one that I showed you is very, very simple. Here, let me break it apart just so you can see what's going on. So as you can see, the redstone starts here, and I don't know why I added this part, you don't need that part, but you can see the redstone start, starts here, it, it, it takes in the input, it moves it over here, we're just going to break over here, and as you can see, it goes down under here, and I just made a redstone repeater, I made a video all about that, all about redstone repeaters, and I'll put the link in the description where, so you can learn how to make one, and so you can see, the, the repeater just extends the signal so it goes longer, so it starts here, goes around here, stretches around here, and you can see it attaches up here. And now when we place our water and we turn it on, the wa the redstone will connect all the way and turn on the water or, or activate the water and make it a block update and make it move, just like this. And by the way, if you make it like this, the water will not ruin the redstone. 
Now this next fountain is a little bit more complex. So instead of just breaking it apart and showing you guys how to build it, I'm going to uh, first show you guys how I did it, L like the basics of it. So uh, let's say this is going to be your lever right here. And then you made your redstone go all the way around and use your repeaters and everything, and it ends up right here. So now what you want to do is you, is, is you, 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 you made your redstone current go all the way, and now what you want to do is you want to place down a, a block like this, and then a redstone torch in the front of it, and then you want to turn it on. And this is your off position. Your on position is actually your off position, because you can see that this is uh, off. You can see that the, 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 the torch is off, which is exactly what we want. So next what we want to do is we want to build a block right here. And now, when we place a torch here, it will be on. But look at this. When we turn this off, it turns this one on and turns that one off. Now this is this is some so this is some uh, complex redstone here, but it's kind of easy when I just tell you guys how to do it. So we're gonna turn it off like this. Next we're gonna do another one like 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 this. Add another. Bam! Now you just want to go up as long as you want and just add your torches and then add your redstone. And once you feel like you've gone up enough and you're and you're, you're high enough, what you want to do is you want to place another block that's on top like this and then you want to place some redstone on it and it doesn't matter if the redstone is on or off it, it'll act the same way and now you'll see when we flick this lever right here it will turn this off which will make a block update so we turn it back on it, it turns on a little bit turn it back off and it turns off so this is what makes the block update now now when we uh, place our calm water on top and we do it, since this will make a block update, it'll make this move. Because calm water reacts to any block update, including redstone. So we're going to flip the lever again, and there it goes. So basically over here, it's the exact same thing. So if I remove this, uh, this stuff right here, you can see I flip the lever, you can see the, the redstone follows down here. It's over here, and then there you go. You see the same exact thing as I did before. And now you can see it just uh, travels up, and then it stops right here. You can add your redstone, and you add your calm water. I actually kind of want to uh, fill this up so I don't ruin anything. And then now when I turn it back uh, the other way, I want to actually close this off too. Turn this on, and it goes. The next fountain is the exact same thing. So you can see here we have the redstone, uh, the redstone lever. It goes down here, follows along down. Oh crap! So so again, how this works is the redstone follows down here, and then it connects to this. Now this is a different, a little bit of a different way. So instead of doing this, here I'm just gonna do it over here really fast. So instead of doing this, this thing. This type of thing so that when you flick the lever, it turns off it like this. You can also just shorten it up by placing it right here. So, it's going to be like this, and you can turn it on like this instead of making that, that longer circuit. So, again, it makes it a little bit more simple. And then at the top, so so you know that it goes, it goes so, it, so it links up down here. So, it goes here, and it goes up. So, you can see it coming up from the, from the, from the bottom of there. Going up, going up, and then it ends up up here. And then you can flick, put a redstone torch here, and it'll do the same thing here. Let me see if I can do it from here. I can, and there you go. You can see it turning on and off. But using a uh, redstone torch, as you would know over there, doesn't change a block update. That's why you need to have redstone, which does change block updates and does the exact same thing. So I'll turn it off. See, it turns off. I do it again. It turns back on so this will create a block update now we can place our water right there and now when we turn it on it will make it go all down this last fountain is the most confusing that's because well, well not th this side is pretty simple it's like the simplest water fountain you can make but this side the way you turn it off is a bit more confusing so first of all we're going to turn it on Okay, I fixed it. Now we're gonna turn it on just like this. Turn it on and as you can see it fills up just like that. And now when we turn it off, as you saw before, it will clog it up. Now I'm gonna reset this so you guys can see what's going on. So, so as you can see, it goes around the redstone repeater, goes over here, and then you have your red, uh, your, uh, your, uh, your, your still water right there. You can turn this on, and there it goes. And by the way, if you just have a regular one, like a regular uh, fountain like this, you can easily uh, 
re 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 reset it by placing a block here, breaking it, and then replacing some more uh, calm water. And just like that, it's reset. Now this side, this side is a, is, is, is a bit more confusing if you've never seen redstone alternatives. Now if you know redstone alternatives, al al <laughs> Redstone alternatives is it's just basically uh, using redstone back in 0 0.11 and it's using uh it's using cactuses. So what happens is and also if you want to learn a little bit more about this, I have a video all about talking about how this works and everything. The link will be in the description. If this doesn't make sense to you, go watch that video. It will. So how this works? The lever activates this redstone, goes to this repeater to extend the the signal. Even though I probably didn't really need this repeater, so we can just take away this repeater right now and we place it some real with some real redstone and then over here it goes to some sand which will hold a cactus now you can see I can't place a cactus right now that's because there's redstone already there we want to remove that redstone and now we can place down the cactus and now before replacing this redstone you want to go over here and you want to add some signs that lead all the way up over here and over this so this is this is what you want to do you want to Go over, it's just just going up like this. Going up. Going up. And as you can see, it's going to go right over it. Just like that. Now you can see what I did. So, and now we want to replace the redstone. So now you can see it's a complete redstone circuit that will go over here and it will activate this uh, this cactus. And by the way, uh, ca ca cactus getting activated by re uh, redstone actually makes it goes go away so as you'll see the the redstone will take away the cactus just like that so that's what that's basically what's going on so when we uh we take away the cactus when we turn on this redstone current it'll take away the cactus take away all these signs and then what you need at the top is some sand just like that and now when it all goes away the sand will fall and destroy or, or uh, delete the water that's here so here we're gonna turn it on First, we're going to turn on this side, just like that, and then we'll see it all happen, the chain reaction, and there it goes, and it turns off. Now, you may be thinking this is really ugly, but really, you can actually cover this up with some blocks, maybe like some mossy uh, uh, cobblestone or something, just something that goes around it, and you can cover it all up. Okay, everyone, that's basically it for this redstone video. Now, stay tuned for my next redstone video. I didn't say it's going to be my very next video. I just said my next redstone video where I get to show you guys how to make a working redstone lava door. A lava door. And, and it doesn't require any, like, like, sand or anything. It's all done with the same application. So stay tuned for that. That's the end. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.